Belgrade Avenue Church. Pastor Dan Crandall here with a quick video just to show you what to expect when we resume our in-person gatherings in our sanctuary this coming Sunday. So let me show you what's in store. Come on. So when you first come in, we'll have a hand sanitizer station right here. Now we will eventually have actual dispensers on these stands. The manufacturer is out of parts, so we're waiting for those to come in and then we'll have the actual sanitizers uh, dispensers on these stands. But until then, we're just going to put a little, little bottle there. So squirt, give a little hand sanitizer, disinfect, and come on into the sanctuary. So when you come in, feel free to stand around and talk a little bit, but just make sure that you keep your distance. And as you walk in, make sure that before you come, you have your masks on and ready to go. This is your ticket to get in the sanctuary. No mask, no admittance. All right, let's go. When you come in, there's more hand sanitizers stations on each side of the doorway in case there's too many people up there. And so they'll be right here for you or in case somehow you got your hands dirty and you just wanna give yourselves a little more spritz, there's two more stations right here. Let's keep moving. So when you come in, if you have an offering or you want to drop an offering in the plate, again, we have more hand sanitizer for you. We'll have envelopes available if you don't have one already. And you can just go ahead and plop your offering in the plate. Try your best not to actually touch the plate and you'll be good to go. Now when you actually get into the sanctuary, we've got every other pew blocked off. We've measured them, every other pew is exactly six feet apart. So, find an open pew, make sure you don't take the tape off and try to sit in one that's blocked off, even if that's the pew you normally sit in. We're all adults, so go ahead and find an open pew and make sure you distance yourself six feet apart within each pew. Now, here's what to expect when we begin the actual service. Now once everybody finds their seats and the service begins, we'll have some music that Della will be playing on the organ, and we'll have a few hymns. I'll do a responsive reading. Um, we won't be able to sing to the hymns, but we can hum with our lips shut uh, behind our masks, or, or uh, we'll have the words up on the screen and we can meditate to them. And as the service begins, I'll give a, a short sermon. The whole service should be about, you know, 30, 35 minutes tops. And this is gonna be a traditional service for you folks that enjoy the more traditional service. Um, because you folks have had to endure the very, very non-traditional Belgrade online services all summer long. So this will be for you. I'll even gonna be preaching from the podium up on the platform there. Now, after the service is over, we will be able to have a little bit of fellowship time, but we can't use the fellowship hall because there's mold down there and we're working on mitigating that and fixing that situation, but we can use the fireside room. Now, when we go to the fireside room, we want to be sure that we're having four people to a table, make sure that we're distanced. And the other thing is that we're not gonna be serving any coffee or treats. You're welcome to bring some from home, bring a, a plate of treats for yourself, um, bring a thermos full of coffee, and, and you'll be more than welcome to have that and enjoy that together downstairs in the fireside room. But I do want to reiterate, this is not going to feel like an ideal service, but in order for us to continue meeting, these are the precautions we have to take. We're gonna, we're gonna wear our mask, we're gonna sanitize, we can't sing, we're gonna have a shorter service. But when we worship the Lord, we worship Him in spirit and in truth, uh, the setting makes no difference. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, or if you have any symptoms at all and have had any symptoms for the last few days or week or so, please, please, please stay home. Belgrade Online will still continue to air at 10 a.m. online on Facebook and um, possibly our YouTube channel. We're having some uh, copyright issues going on with music on our YouTube channel. So, um, but it will be on Facebook. And so I want to invite you to enjoy that at 10 a.m. if you are not comfortable coming to the sanctuary or um, if you've had any symptoms recently. Well, that's what we can look forward to for this Sunday. For those of you that are coming out, I look forward to seeing you at 9 a.m. Grace and peace. We'll see you soon.